time. They wouldn't grow great corn if it was like this too much. Look at that, it's Ivanka Trump. Wow. No, I looked over here, I'm looking at that freezing, I'm looking at the flags, those beautiful American flags that we love and respect. And I see my daughter. Hello, Ivanka. Would you like to hear from Ivanka? Come on. Hello, Iowa. <laughs> this is some serious energy and a little bit of cold, but, uh, but you all warm up the room. So, well, I love you, and we all love this man, a warrior through and through who never forgets why he's in Washington, why he ran for president, and who he's fighting for, which is you, the American people. What he has been able to accomplish in four years is extraordinary. But you know what? He'll do that and then some, if given another term, which you're going to bring him to. <laughs> he fights so hard for each of us every day, and now we can fight for him and the future of this great country by using our voice and using our vote to win another historic victory for the people's president. Get out and vote, everyone. Thank you, God bless. That's Ivanka. No, you know, I said, Ivanka, go down here, it's warmer. Yeah, they said, sir, I uh, have a little bad news. What? Uh, Barack Hussein Obama is going to uh, campaign with Biden. I said, why is that bad news? That's good news. He campaigned with Hillary, and that was when she started really getting beaten. Remember that? He campaigned? He's a highly overrated person. Well, he gave us 142 judgeships. We'll take it. Joining us today are some incredible people, and if they want to come up and freeze their ass off, I've been fighting them up. See, you people are there, and you're nice and warm. I'm up here all by myself. That's why I said, I said to my daughter, oh, look, at is that Hope Hicks? Is that Hope Hicks? Where is Hope Hicks, the great Hope Hicks? Get her. Is that Sarah Huckabee? You look like, come here, Sarah. You know what? You look like Hope Hicks. I thought Sarah Huckabee was Hope Hicks. That's not bad. Hope Hicks, come up here, Hope Hicks. The great Hope Hicks. Boy, we got them all. Come here, Sarah. How good is Sarah, huh? Look at Sarah. Come up here, Sarah. Look at Sarah. She did pretty well being with Trump, right? She's doing good. Say something, Sarah. Thank you, Mr. President. How good does that sound, President Trump? He's had an amazing four years as a mom of three young kids. There's nobody I trust more to build their future and protect our great country than President Donald Trump. We need everybody here to make sure they get out because this is the most important election we've ever had. Everything is on the line and the only person strong enough, tough enough, and willing to fight for it is President Donald Trump. I'm so proud to be here. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. I don't know. She could be a governor of Arkansas one day. I don't know. Is that, where's Hope? Come here, Hope. Do you know Hope? Hope Hicks. Come here, Hope. Come up here. The great Hope Hicks. Do you know Hope Hicks? She's become very famous. Very powerful woman. Very powerful. Look at her. Are you cold enough, Hope? <laughs> Come on up, Hope. does a fantastic job. I don't know if she loves public speaking. <laughs> Just say hello. Hi. <laughs> How much do we love our
our president. <laughs> are you guys going to vote on Tuesday? Who are you going to vote for? We love you, Iowa. Thank you. Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks, Hope. I tell him that. But uh, she's really considered one of the greatest governors in our country, and she's a great person, a great husband. She's got a great warrior husband, too, I will tell you that. Kim Reynolds. Come on up, Kim, if you can. Come on up. We're so proud to have you here. And I've told you every time I had the opportunity to be in front of you that we were going to carry Iowa for Donald J. Trump, and we are going to bring it home. Yes. We're not satisfied with seven. We're going for 10. We're going to bring it home. Thank you. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Great job. Thank you, Kim. She's a dynamo, huh? Wow. I said, whoa. Thank you, Kim. And Lieutenant Governor Adam Gregg. Adam, thank you very much. Thank you. Doing a great job, Adam. Are we doing okay, Adam? We're doing good? Good. Bring it on, Adam. Also with us uh, are two people. One is running, and the other one doesn't even have to run even when he's running. I hear he's, I hear he's, they say he might be the only politician in America who's just not beatable. Uh, people don't even run against him. He's a great guy. But let's get, because we have to do this, we have to get Joni Ernst elected. She's fantastic. She's so good. Joni, come up. Joni is fantastic and special woman, and she loves your state, and she loves our country. Joni, please. Thank you. And President Trump, we love you. Thank you so much. God bless you. There is not a finer president and one that has done so much for our farmers and our ranchers and our biofuel producers. President Trump, Iowa loves you. I love you. God bless you. Four more years. Four more years. Thank you. Thank you, Joni. Thank you, Joni. Yeah, get out and vote for Joni. She's a terrific person, and she really fights hard for the state. She really does. She really goes all at it. And the man that we've been talking a lot about today, I've talked about him so much, and uh, everybody knows who he is. Everybody in Washington respects him. Most people are deathly afraid of him, but I've gotten to know him. Actually, when you get to know him, he's actually tougher than you even think. But he's a great man. He really is. He's a great man. He's been a great senator. I think somebody said he's never missed a vote in all these years. And I'd love to have either stay there or come right up here, Chuck, but we would love to have you. Chuck Grassley, really a legendary guy. A legendary guy. He really is. He's something special. You know, uh, while, while we were warming up the crowd for you in this cold day, and I think that's an impossible task, but uh, I said the four words that ought to be the most used for you to be reelected is promises made, promises kept. And, 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 uh, and one of the things that you didn't make a promise on that has really materialized anyway, and that is your leadership in peace in the Middle East. Uh, and, and, and nominated by three parliamentarians of other countries for the Nobel Peace Prize. That's pretty darn good. And, and uh, you're going to continue to work for peace. Uh, and we thank you very much. I was going to go for you big time. And we're, and, and, and we're going to have such a successful election that CNN and SNBC is going to have to change their policies when they realize for four years that they couldn't get you out of office and the people back you up, you'll be in there and they'll have to change. 